I'm Ruthie, that's Vera. Hi. <laughs> uh, we're from Brooklyn, Sheepshead Bay Area, so we're local. Um, we just started making bracelets two years ago. We have a website, we're on Instagram, Smooch by VR. We're on Facebook, Smooch Yourself. And we have a website, SmoochYourself.com. So, you know, trying to kill it in the industry. And that's it, everything's handmade. We use gemstones, CZ crystals, uh, spikes, really cool um, words like love, faith, hope. And we did a special line of breast cancer bracelets for today. beautiful while I was fighting. So I decided to go to nonprofit. I'm also a life coach from NYU and I'm doing uh, I'm gonna start doing workshops to the nonprofit um, beauty workshops and then taking these lovely girls out so they could live life while fighting for it and inspire tomorrow. The Glamour um, Cosmetics, we've been around since 2009. Our signature product is our eyeshadow which could be used seven different ways as an eyeshadow, lip gloss, nail polish, blush, it's all in one. The colors, they stand out, they go on really great, you don't need any base under it, and they last really long. Simply just use any clear lip gloss, and it will clean, it will clean up your hands. So, here it is as a lip gloss. See that? Bold. We love bold colors, very nice. Well, hi, I'm Danielle, owner of Posh Beauty Bar. We're located out of Bridgeport, Connecticut, and today we're just showing you our version here. I currently have some of our hair on our head right now. This is my Brazilian version here. Do you like? It's soft. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a slight display of just some of our products that we have here. Now, what's so special about this hair here? Well, version here is actually from a donor from all types of regions all over the world. And the hair is said to last long. It will last you long. <laughs> um, it's real version hair, so it comes from someone's head. It's not rimmy hair. It's not pulled, so you can relax this hair. You can color this hair. This hair is tangle-free, and it will last you for an entire year if you take proper care of it. Okay, what else do you have going on there? And um, this is just another one of that we have. This is our Brazilian body wave, and it does the same thing. That's our natural wave. So we just have different textures. We have one for coarser hair, for thinner hair, for finer hair. This right here is our lace front closure. Right here, it's Brazilian wave, and this is just to put in a when you when we do the hair, how we part it, and we just put the closure in, and then we just. It'll, it'll blend right in with the, with the yeah. other body weight that it we have. It just gives you a natural looking hairline. Yes. So if you are suffering from any Look. type of hair loss mm -hmm. or any hair breakage, you can apply that to the front of your hair. And if you apply it right, it looks really okay, natural. Okay, the mob wives are in the building. We've been waiting for you all night and you look fabulous, ladies. Tell me, what are you rocking tonight? Designs by Cisa. I'm wearing Cisa Rodriguez, Cisa. Piluca. Okay, fashionable, fashionable. So season three, yes. it's coming, right? It's coming. What can we expect? Any drama? Of course, we're mob wives. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we live. We fuel off of drama. No, I think what you'll see a lot more in season three is a lot of progression in the women, hopefully. I mean, at least I can say from my character because I really am a person that's progressing in life. So I think that, you know, you see a lot more of the women instead of the drama. But you'll always have drama. 
and you really bring that strong presence to the to the show. And I love I, I, I love you for that. You you stay true, and you're always keep it real. See, I love you for that. that. <laughs> How is that you know really important for you? Or are you on the show? You know what? Like I said, when I came back to do Mob Wives, I guess I was the controversial character, the one no one wanted back. But at the end of the day, I don't let people sway me in any way. I stand behind what I believe in. I stand behind family, family loyalty. And listen, I don't agree with everybody's decisions. And if I don't, I'm not going to bend either way. So for me, friendship is what's important, and I stand behind that. Hey, and how's Drita? She's good. She's alive. She's breathing. <laughs> Well, you are definitely another one that keeps it real, and you'll always stay loyal, and I love that about you. Thank you. And I know you're going to bring some drama on the show, right? I'm just going to bring me, so wherever lane that goes, it's just who I am, and I'll never deny who I am. If there's something I want to voice upon, I won't sit back and be a lamb, I'll be a tiger. If somebody's coming into my territory or going after my friends. Anything new for season three that we should expect? Oh yeah, every year I think we Listen, to... every year and every day in our lives there is something new, you know. I guess it's a blessing, you know, in a way that we just don't live, you know, ordinary lives. So, and I guess that's why you guys like want to tune in. So, you're going to be in for some shocking things. It's my guilty pleasure, I must say. I'm glad. <laughs> now, you ladies are going to be on Broadway. I was doing a little scoop. Yes. Tell me about that. Yes. It's my big gay Italian wedding, and um, listen, we represent everything, you know, so we feel that this is something important to us because, again, we are so, um, we believe in things, and we believe in people that believe in things, so we just thought it was a good opportunity. It's a friend. And, and the dates are November 17th and December 1st, so everybody should just check it out because it's going to be so much fun. Yeah, now, how did you go about getting that gig? Again, um, a friend of ours, he's the creator and he stars in the play, so he knew that it was something we would be interested in and we said, N why not, you know, we're a big gay supporter, obviously we're big Italian supporters, and it's just something fun and it gets the audience a chance to see us, what we are every day, we're goofballs, so we're really all they funny bribed us. Other. They bribed us with pizza and cannolis, don't lie. <laughs> they, they had us come over with the big box of pizza and they were, we signed on. Calzones, <laughs> it was the calzones. Okay, now, I was watching you on Dr. Drew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this short, but I was watching you on Dr. Drew and you had a lot of fans calling that was supporting you ladies and then a few that was you know a little nasty what do you say to those people that you know has a little bad thing to if say you about you if you don't like us don't watch us keep your opinions to yourself because everyone doesn't have to agree in life but you have to respect us because don't think you're going to step into our territory and try to disrespect us I agree with her. If you if you don't like us, just change the channel. There are other shows. Everybody has a preference. And I'll be waiting for that hit song, The Big Big Bang. Bang right? <laughs> you might see some other hit songs coming too. Yes, yes. Well, my name is Safia Rogers, and I actually started with my partner, Valerie, about two years ago. Um, we've always had friends that admired our style, admired our sense of style, wanted to borrow stuff from our closet. And, and your outfit you're wearing is hot. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is my girlfriend's closet, by the way. So we had friends that say, can I borrow that? Girlfriend, let me have that when you finish that. So I said, you know what? I have a background in fashion. I love styling. And then I said, what better name to start my business with? My girlfriend's closet boutique. Since all of my friends want to borrow things and they never bring them back, by the way. <laughs> so that's how I started the line. And we started about two years ago. And we do feature like new and emerging designers. So we have new and emerging designers. We give them a platform to showcase their items. We actually travel the world, you know, to pick out different pieces. I hand pick every piece myself. So I wouldn't pick something that I wouldn't wear myself or I wouldn't think that my girlfriend would wear. 
So. Well, I'm going to show you my three key trends that I picked out, and you'll tell me a little bit about it, okay? okay. Now, this black top caught my attention. I love sheer, and this is something that you can wear, you know, with your basic denim jeans, Absolutely. and you can dress it up, too. You could dress, you could dress this item up or down. We call it the sheer pe uh, pedal top. So basically, it's a sheer top. You can wear like a little bandeau under it. You can wear something beaded and funky under it. You can even do like a bright color under it to play with color. And like you said, you can wear it with your favorite denim, like a skinny jean. Preferably, we like to do when you have fuller on the top, we like to keep it skinny on the bottom. You can do them with like a leather pant. It'll look really nice with. And it's really, really fun and funky and flirty and feminine at the same time. And don't forget to add that dramatic necklace, too. Yes, absolutely. You need a necklace or a big earring with this. It'll make it My stand out. My next item. I had to bring the shimmer in it. And you know, this is your basic turtleneck with a twist. Tell me about this. Absolutely. Like you said, your basic turtleneck with a twist. Who doesn't love a good fitting, well fitted turtleneck? It's very fitted. It has a lot of stretch in it. And then it has that twist. Metallic. Metallic is like really, really good and really popular for the season. Um, again, you can pair this with um, denim. You can dress it up or down. You can put it on with a nice pair of black slacks. And the holidays are coming up. Metallic is perfect for the holidays. Throw in a shrub. Throw in a very drapey beat a necklace and you're good to go. Very chic and casual at the same time. And you can get trendy with this look with you you know your basic leggings, over yes. the knee boots and yes. even a black fitted blazer. Absolutely, absolutely. A blazer goes with everything. You would never go wrong with a blazer. I'm, I'm a stylist but you didn't know that right? Ah, you trying to take my Next guy. up, a little bold pop. Yes. Ladies, you gotta add that pop to your wardrobe. Yes, you gotta add the pop to your wardrobe. We call this the give me space dress because it has like the space inspired shoulders so when you put it on the shoulders will sit up high and it's very fitted. It's like a cocktail dress. So it sits like very, like uh, maybe to the knee. Come to the knee again, you can wear it with like a long boot. You can wear it with the ankle boot to give it like a little twist. Put it on with tights. Or you can wear it with bare leg and you'll still have that chic look. I love this dress. You need a simple, just a simple sheath dress, but then you have the shoulders to give it a twist. Uh, my name is David. I'm from Chutem Shoes in Brooklyn, New York. And we carry a line of high fashion shoes. Um, you know, we have Jean Marco Lorenzi, we have Jeffrey Campbell, Mariano Fabiani, and we do something for everyone. We do sneakers, we do heels, we do flats, ballerinas. So we try to touch on every little uh, detail. You know? What is the most popular item that you sell here? Well, right now we're doing spikes is very heavy. Yes, it's very air and it's very, you know. Show, show, us, show us some spikes. We have a lot of battle spikes, you know, it's gorgeous, with the Chanel quilting, you know, for those Now, fabulous. how can the ladies rock this style with this shoe? What can they be wearing with it? Leggings, Yeah. a gorgeous pair of skinny jeans, um, and a white t-shirt, a little clutch in their hand. As you can see, Emma is wearing one of her battle spikes. Let's get, let's get her shoes right here. Ow! Don't hurt nobody, girl. Don't hurt nobody. Those shoes are fierce. Those shoes are fierce. A Western inspired, beautiful heel. No, this can be removed. Gorgeous lambskin leather in hot pink. Which girl doesn't want a hot pink boot today? You know what I mean? It's hot. These are popular. I'm seeing every all popular. the celebrities every rocking. Designer has doing it. All the celebrities yeah. around. It's great. It's everyday. Yeah. Nice wedge. Yeah. Great. You put it on with a pair of leggings and out the door, and your big sweat and a big handbag. You know. You don't want to be in the regular sneakers anymore. Everybody wants to be high fashion. Make sure the shoe is for you. The shoe should never wear you. You should wear the shoe. Um, I see a lot of people that cannot walk in certain heels. I mean, platforms is one of the easiest things to walk in. I teach people how to walk, you know. I. And okay, when you want to show me something? No, I don't want to show you anything. <laughs> okay. But, you know, when I see people, I correct them, you know. You know, it's... It's better to walk in a platform than a regular heel because you're more on a regular heel, you're this way. On the platform, you're balanced. You know, but a lot of people forget that sometimes what they're on, they raise their foot too high or they just look clumsy in it. You know, just don't think about what you have on and walk normal. That's my That's the key. Walk as normal as you can and everything will be fine. You'll, it'll flow. And have the confidence to walk in the shoe too. It's like any garment you're going to wear, have the confidence. If you're going to wear your hair a certain way, have the confidence to wear it. The makeup, have the confidence to wear it. It's all about fashion. Five months ago, I lost my dad to lung cancer. Losing a dad is unexplainable, honestly. It's, oh my God, reality. 
And for that, in that moment of reality that hit me, a, a businesswoman, a hair care company, all of that going on didn't mean anything at that moment. So when this opportunity presented itself, I was like, let's do it. Let's do it and represent for everyone who lost a loved one to, to cancer. I want to thank everyone for being here. It truly means a lot to me. Um, my team is amazing. Thank you, Portia. Thank you, Marshall. I couldn't do this without you. I really, really appreciate y'all. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to shop. And remember, we have the silent auction items in the back. We have $4,000 in laser treatment donated by John Scott. We have the pomegranate kiwi basket donated by Puka Pure and Simple. We have uh, Lazio gave a VIP treatment to their new salon. So there's so many items back there. Please, uh, please, please, please bid. Again, it's going towards Beating Cancer and Hills. It's for their, their organization. This event is for their organization. So please support everyone. Thank you so much.